welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a tutorial on this look this is kind of my go-to look it's not my five minute face but it's my everyday type of makeup tutorial when I have a little bit of extra time on my hands I can knock this out in like 15 to 20 minutes especially when I'm not filming a video I can get it done really quick and if I have a little bit of extra time on my hands I always throw on a little bit of falsies because we all know I burned off my eyelashes, so yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I've been doing my, I guess we'll call this like my go-to look with my current go-to favorite products, please be sure to keep watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So lately I've just been kind of trying the Evian Facial Spray. It doesn't make the biggest difference in the world, but if you have dry skin like me, it just feels really nice to spray over your face before you do your makeup because it's just refreshing and I don't know. I like it. Does it make the biggest difference in the world? No, but it's just fun because I just like it. <laughs> so I use two different primers. I like to use Glossier Priming Moisturizer all over my entire face. Just like that much. Work it in between your fingers. And then just on my nose, the Becca Evermatte Prime Pore Perfector. Just a little bit because you don't need a ton of this. It's really crazy. And lately I've really been liking my Chanel Illuminator and I just use a really small amount of this. I kind of shake it like this and I just get a little bit and I apply the dots. And I just rub it in with my fingers. Just kind of like press and rub just so that it's all over the skin and not just sitting there. And then for foundation, I really love Too Faced Born This Way. I just like how it doesn't really even look like you're wearing any makeup. So I just do, I just start like dotting it all over my face. I try to keep it in the center because I feel like that's where I need the most coverage. And then I like to just blend it in with a sponge. Um, today I'm using the L'Oreal one and I really, really like this sponge, guys. I think it's so good. And then I go in with concealer. Today I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. I wear the shade tan. I only have the shade tan and I only wear it when I have a spray tan on. Otherwise, it's way too dark. So I just dot that around my eyes. I like this in the corners of my nose. I'm talking with my mouth shut. Um, and then I just do a little bit more concealer around my nose area. I like to blend it in with my fingers first. Just use my fingers to really like press the product in. And then you can kind of warm it up too. Especially with concealer, I feel like you really need to use your fingers first, or at least I do. I really have to use it with my fingers first, and then I can go over it with a sponge once I really blended it in. Then I go in with my sponge and just make sure everything is, you know, nice and smooth. Then I usually just set my T-zone, so I've really been liking the NYX No Filter Powder. I just take it on a fluffy brush, just a little bit of the powder, always tap off the excess. And then I just pat it right over the center of my face. Um, you guys know I hate powder and I don't really like putting it on these areas of my face because I just feel like it looks so bad on me when I powder my entire face. Just my thoughts. For brows lately, I've actually been liking using an... Oh. So for brows lately, I've actually really been liking using a liquid eyeliner. This one's by Hard Candy and it's in the shade O Fudge and... I don't know, I just tried using it on my brows one day because I forgot to bring a brow product with me so I used this out of just being plain desperate and I really liked the way it looked so I've been using it ever since then and I'm pretty happy with it. I just use it with a really light hand because my brows are already super thick so I don't need that much to fill them in and I just kind of like you guys can see, I just kind of make it look like hair strokes. Any mistakes, just rub it out with your finger. That's what I do. Just like, kind of push it further in there. And then to set my brows, I really like the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Pumper. And I wear the shade Medium Dark. And I just kind of fluff my brows up a little bit with it. It really does keep them in place all day too. So just kind of like quickly run it through because it is tinted. So it puts a little bit of color on your brows as well. And then my favorite bronzer, the It Cosmetics Warmth, or it's actually called Sunshine in a Compact in the shade Warmth. And I take it on an It Cosmetics Wand Ball Powder Brush, my favorite bronzer brush, and just 
slightly bronze up my face. And also, I always take this brush and I pinch it like this, and then I just kind of work some bronzer into the crease of my eyes. You could be professional and use like an actual crease brush, but not me. I just squeeze it in there. And then I um, bronze the sides of my nose around my mouth. So I don't really have like a go-to highlighter because it changes every day. I always want to use something different. Highlighter is my favorite, so I just like to switch it up all the time. But lately, I have really been liking my Becca Moonstone Poured. So I just picked this up on my ring finger. You kind of have to like really warm it up in the pot like this. And then I just use the back of my hand to really like tap off all the excess. And just dab it onto my skin using my fingers because that is the easiest and the fastest and I put it on my brow bone I also like to take it on the eyelid just for a little bit of shine and it kind of makes your eyelids look glossy when your eyelids get a little bit oily throughout the day it just gives you that glossy lid look I do the bridge I do the bridge of my nose just kind of a little bit right there corners of the eyes Cupid's bow, chin, you know, I just like to put highlight everywhere. I do like to do a little bit of winged eyeliner and you guys know I've been loving the Marc Jacobs liquid liner in Choco Lac, so I usually just do little wings. They just kind of make everything look a little bit more put together. And then to curl my lashes with my Savvy $2 eyelash curler, which is amazing. And I feel like my eyelashes are finally starting to grow back. They're really short, but I'll be excited if by summertime I don't have to wear fake eyelashes anymore. Because they're still like really sparse and uneven. So I'm just hoping, hoping that by springtime or summertime they'll just be like somewhat back to normal <laughs> and lately i've also really been loving the essence i love extreme volume in the waterproof version it makes your lashes look really fluffy and volumized i think it looks really really good on the lower lashes like i think it looks extra good on the lower ones and i typically just line my lips with whatever nude lip pencil i like at the moment i've really been liking number 22 by bite it's just it's just a nice uh soft nude lip pencil that you can't really tell you're wearing Then I always use my favorite, my new favorite lip balm ever, the Nooks Revel de Mille lip balm. And I love this because it's like a matte lip balm and it really stays on all day long. So I just use this kind of as a, I guess like a lip gloss base kind of, cause I find that it makes my lip glosses actually last a lot longer. Sometimes I just leave it like this, but I've really been liking the Rimmel lip gloss in Nonstop Glamour, just cause it's kind of like a soft golden beige. And it's got really pretty shimmers in it. And it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Cause lip glosses kind of make your lips look like just a little bit more full, you know? I forgot to do blush and I was really excited to share this with you guys because I am obsessed with it. This is the Olio Iso number no. 5 balm and it's this really pretty deep raisin color. And you can apply it directly to your face like this, but what I like to do is just pick it up on my finger like that. Warm it up between your fingers so that you get like a good amount of the product. And then I just lightly tap it onto the apples on my cheeks. Just super soft. It's so subtle and so pretty. I really like the color of it. And lately I've really been liking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray, so I typically just set my face with two sprays of this. Just kind of move my face around in the mist. Rather than like spray it directly on your face, I think it's better to like spray it away, mist it, and then move your face in the mist. That way your face doesn't get completely drenched with it. 
So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial and that you found it helpful. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I've used, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Like I said, this isn't my five minute face, like my bare minimum, I need to look presentable for the outside world in five minutes every day face. This is more like my 15 to 20 minute face, but it's still really easy and quick and I like it a lot and it's just, it's easy to do, so it's been my go-to for the past couple months. If you guys want to see an updated five minute face makeup tutorial, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys didn't already. Product links and information on this tutorial are going to be in the description box down below, and then I'm also going to have my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter, so please be sure that you guys can follow me on there as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.